Hi guys and girls, it's Shannon and today I'm sitting back on my bed but I'm sitting on the edge of the bed this time because I'm showing you what I brought in the box of day sales. If the camera keeps moving, it's because my phone keeps slipping in the tripod holder for it and I have to have it on the front facing camera so I can see when it's slipping because it's happened a couple of times and my phone has actually jumped out and fallen. I don't really want my phone to break. So that's why the camera's gonna keep moving a little bit and I haven't, I haven't done it right, but I really don't care at the moment. Right, um, yeah, so Box and Dare sales. I went shopping with my dad, my sister, and Mad Mac. And we went to a few different shops. We went to Primark, Hotel Chocolat, uh, Lush, Superdrug, B&M, and Tesco. Um, so we went to a few different places and I'm going to show you what I brought in each of those places So I'm going to do one store at a time and I'm going to start with Lush uh, Just because that's what's right next to me um, So yeah, Lush had a really good deal going on at the time uh, Everything that was to do with their Christmas related merch Well not merch, but you know their Christmas scents was 50% off which is really good if you know what Lush is. So let's start with my little friend, Snowman, who has been dropped <laughs> a couple of times now. So this is his head. We've got a cute little head with a chunk missing out of it. And he does have a body as well. So there's his body. So this is, I can't remember how much I paid for this. Let me see if I can find the receipt. It's not in the bag. Okay, I can't find the receipt. Um, so, I believe he was about six pounds to begin with, and then uh, with the 50% reduction, it was about three, three pounds. Yeah, I could not do math for a second. There. And that is really good, considering you get two bath bombs there. Um, they do, they, they're not stuck together in any way, shape or form though, so be warned. What's this? Okay. So I can't remember what this was called, but it's like a little mountain, uh, and it was like some sort of yule log. It kind of smells like snow fairy, but not really. Um, it's a bubble bar, so I can use it over and over. I'm now covered in glitter. Uh, I can use it over and over and over again, and that's what I plan to do. Uh, I'm kind of obsessed with Lush. Wait a minute, oh. because I got I actually got Lush for Christmas from Mad Mac, and then I went in and brought more today. Um, partially because some of the things Mad Mac had brought me I hadn't actually smelt before and then I smelled it and it smelled amazing so I had to get some more okay so I think we all know what this is and this is Magic Wand in Snow Fairy scent mm, I love Snow Fairy I absolutely love Snow Fairy scent um, I know it's a bit sweet for some people but I love the smell of it and considering that was half price I think that's a really good deal for it um, okay, so this isn't a Christmas one. This is, I think this is leftover stock from their Halloween stuff, but this is called Eyeball, and I'm pretty sure we can see why. It's very, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like smoky, like wood kind of scent. Hang on, let's it's like wood kind of scent. I'm covered in glitter. Um, but I hadn't tried it before. I hadn't even seen it or heard of it before, so I figured I'd give it a go. So that's eyeball. Uh, there is, there might be one more. Yeah, there is one more that's like supposed to be Halloween y, I think. Okay, so the next one, I actually got a couple of these, is I think this is called Shoot for the Stars. Oh, I love it. Um, I don't know how to describe scents, and I'm gonna end up blue by the end of it. But um, I don't know how to describe scents. It's shoot for the stars, it smells really good. I like the smell of it, so I brought it. My phone is about to jump out of the frick. Oh, I need to get a new holder for it. Oh, I should've got one while I was in town today, but I didn't get a chance. Okay. Okay, so here's another one of the Halloween ones which is Lord of Misrule. I've never had one of these before and it smells so interesting I just had to give it a go. That went up my nose. Um, don't do it. I can see you, don't do it. 
The reason I'm using the front facing camera today, by the way, is because my Mac is not here to line it up. There's bath bomb in my mouth. <laughs> what are you? Oh, this is just another shoot for the stars. See, I could look up and tell you guys what is bath. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will look up and put in on the screen what the names of these bath bombs are so you can find out for yourself and buy them if you wish. But considering the fact I'm not very good at explaining the scents, I don't think you want to buy them. Okay. Right. I'm not gonna lie about it. I brought this one because I thought it looked pretty. Oh, this one's very citrusy. It's like lemony, which is funny. Yeah, this is almost lemony. It's like lemon limey, but this is, uh, I think it's called the world's smallest disco or smallest disco in the world or something like that. But again, hadn't tried it before. Figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, it's in my mouth. <laughs> okay, I cannot remember. I think this was like cherry Christmas or something like that. Oh, it smells like cherry. It's, yeah, it smells amazing. Okay, so it looks like it smells like and sparkle. Uh, two things left. Possibly. Ah, okay, so this is one that Mad Mac had got me to use for the fucking place. This is one that Mad Mac had brought me to use on Christmas Eve night, and it's Holy Night. And I absolutely adored it when I used it Christmas Eve, so I got another one today. Okay, so this is another Christmas one. This is the Ectoplasm Jelly Bomb. I hadn't tried one of these yet and I, everyone's been raving about them, so I figured I'd try. Okay, so that is everything from Lush. Okay, so I think I fixed the slipping issue. So, the next store I'm gonna talk about is The Body Shop. So, I picked up uh, a fair bit because they're Christmas range was on half price. Yeah, half price. Um, so I picked up a fair few bits, including more bath bombs. I have a, I have a problem. That's the solution I've come to. I have a problem with bath bombs. Do you? Do you belong? Yes. Do you belong? Okay, okay. That was a weird way to say it, wasn't it? Okay, so the first thing that I picked up was Berry Bomb Bomb Body Butter. I can't get enough of Body Shop's Body Butter. Uh, I find I have quite dry skin. I find I have quite dry skin, and this body, well, any of Body Shop's Body Butter always helps with that. Um, yeah. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was some shower gel in Berry Bomb Bomb and. Can peppermint candy cane uh i didn't pick anything up in the vanilla scent because i just don't like the smell of it so i've only gone with candy cane and peppermint bonbon uh the next thing i picked up was three what are these called bath bombs in each scent because they're awesome and they're leaving so i picked them up uh the next two things i picked up was these little little sacks little sacks they do so it's going to be the same in both so i'm going to open one of them up and show you what's inside one of them so i'll open up the very bomb bomb one and show you what's inside if i can get it open that is because the thing is the other thing is these obviously come in like little burlap sacks and i feel like you could reuse these every like for anything like you could even put some of your precious christmas decorations in okay so, in the sack, everything's wrapped in pepper. Pepper. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so what you get in here is some Berry Bonbon hand cream. Um, oh, a tiny body butter. That. Just fell off. <laughs> um, so... Berry Bonbon Sugar Exfoliating Body Scrub. 
Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of body scrubs, but I will give it a go, and if I don't like it, I'll give it to my sister. And then a tiny little shower gel. So these things very much will come in handy for traveling. Hey look, I can put my bathrooms in here. Okay, so uh, like I said, I picked one of those up in Very Bon Bon and in Candy Cane. And then the last thing I got in there was this stuff. Look at that. So this is... The Shimmer Mist. Yes, in Berry Bon Bon. They didn't, this was the last bottle of Berry Bon Bon and they didn't have any more in um, the other two. Oh, delicious. That is the weirdest thing I've ever done. No, actually I've done a lot of weird things. That was not the weirdest thing I've ever done. Okay, so the next store. I'm being so loud, I'm sorry. Right, so the next store I went into was Hotel Chocolat. And I brought two of these crackers because everything, again, was half price. It's so good. So I brought two crackers, one for me and one for Mad Mac. I'm putting them back in bags so I don't lose them because I will. Uh, I brought two of these little uh, Santa Tiddly Pots. They're very cute. These are only a pound each. And I brought one for me and one for my sister. So I haven't got that other one because my sister has it. Um, and then I brought some white chocolate around there. Some, so a dozen gingerbread men, chocolate gingerbread, I don't know how to explain it. So I got them. Uh, some penguins. I also brought a pack of their like chocolate mince pie things and they were for my dad. So he's got them obviously. Uh, I brought some caramel, salted caramel snowflakes, and I'm dropping everything. I also brought a, this is just called a ho ho ho. Yeah, okay, so these are just, this is just called a ho ho ho. So you get three little chocolate Santas in here. Uh, I got a little stocking, which I feel like I can use the stocking to decorate next year. Um, but let's see what we get inside. Woo! Now it's a tiny little wrap, individually wrapped chocolate. So, milk reindeer, white spruce. Don't know what that means. Milk reindeer. So basically you get some things of white chocolate, some things of caramel, some things, some, some things, some things of milk chocolate. Any dark chocolate, caramel. No, nothing of dark chocolate. So you get caramel, milk, and white chocolate. Don't want that. Go in there. Okay. I didn't fix the slipping issue. Thought I had, but if you hear crunching, it's uh, because I wrapped half a ton of tape around it trying to get it to stay but it hasn't worked okay and the last thing i brought in there is a bottle of their chocolate liqueur this stuff is like alcoholic chocolate milkshake i mean proper chocolate milkshake not the stuff you buy in a carton homemade with ice cream chocolate milkshake it's amazing so i brought myself a bottle that was not the cheapest of things but that's the pint size bowl, so it's not as expensive. So that was everything I brought in Hotel Chocolat. Okay, so next I'm gonna do Superdrug. Now, I brought a few things in Superdrug, but I've actually done a Superdrug order as well, so I'm just gonna pull up the information for that so I can tell you what I've ordered off of it. Um, okay, so let's start with what I ordered off of Superdrug's website. So I ordered... I ordered the I Heart Revolution Heart Heaven makeup gift set, which includes individual highlighters for the Christmas season. And because of the discounts, I paid seven pound and it's total worth, well, what you usually pay for it is 30 and I paid seven. So the other thing I, I brought two more things. One of the other ones was the Zoella Stargazer Lip Balm Duo. And instead of paying seven pound for that, I paid two pound. 
and then the I brought the Zoella Sense of Wonder Rollerball gift set and instead of paying £9 I paid £3 for that um, so I've ordered them off the website because I actually ordered them early hours of Christmas Day morning um, just because that's what was easiest really uh, I ordered them I didn't think I was going to get anything else and to be fair some of the stuff I brought was out of stock on the website um, so I brought I got some buff sprinkles just Bathing Lab Prism Bath Sprinkles from Smallow. I'm not going to need any sort of bath bomb or anything like that for a while. I got a pack of Milky Bar buttons because no one got me any for Christmas this year. And I love them and I don't understand why no one brought me them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, I know, I'm so grateful for everything people brought me. Okay, so then I brought two packs of the Solid, the Zoella moisturizing solid bath oil and uh, I watch her vlogs her vlog, blah, 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 her vlogmas and she says to only use one of these per bath so I'll give that a go I imagine some people will use both yeah so I'm gonna give them a go next I brought a gigantic bath bomb are we really surprised that I brought yet another bath bomb uh, it's just the same as the bath sprinkle stuff uh, just massive and a bath bomb uh, else? oh yeah okay so I also brought the reach for the moon hand cream from Zoella and the last thing I brought was the cosmos from Zoella the perfume or oh, body sorry body mist bad that I actually didn't smell that before I brought it <laughs> I just I just brought it I, I, I've been after it for a while oh nice it's got a slight minty undertone to it actually I enjoy that what's the last it's a good thing I like that because all the rest of this is in the same scent <laughs> oh I'm a dopest right so that is everything I got for super truck and everything that is on its okay, way. Okay, so next I'm going to do Tesco's just because it is the well, the last of the small things I got. As you can see, there was a massive Primark bag here, but there is also one this side. So I got two bags of Primark to go through with you. So for now, I'm going to do the Tesco's one. So, ow. First thing I picked up was this little... Uh, I, it, at the moment, it's not got anything in it, but it actually holds this bag, which... I can't remember how much I paid. Hang on, I'm just sitting here. Okay, so this is wherever it went was two fifty for this little bag. And to be honest with you, I've been seeing these little fold-up bags that you just throw in your handbag and leave them in there for when you go shopping. I've been seeing them for like five pound and upwards. So two pound fifty, I was rather chuffed. I got a bag of Doritos because they were only ninety p. Uh, I got a pack of Christmas coasters to put away for next year because they've got little mangy. Um. But these were a pound. Okay. Yes, these were a pound. And then I got these apple ties, uh, spritzer apple and blood orange. I really like blood orange. I really enjoy them fresh or in drinks, etc. etc. Um, and I really like apple ties, so I figured I'd get these because I haven't actually tried them before. But these were only £2 for six pack. And then the last thing that I brought was a pair of Christmas socks. They were only a pound, so I figured, oh, why not? Um, yeah, so that is everything I brought from okay, Tesco. So now we're moving on to Primark. Um, I brought a lot of jumpers and trackies uh, from Primark just because they were all in sale. Uh, I might be able to tell you, be able to figure it out and tell you exactly what cost how much, but we will we will see. Okay, so um, we have You Don't Own Me. I just showed that to you upside down. How bad is that? You Don't Own Me trackies. Um, yeah, they're nice and soft. Put them over my head. Uh, they're nice and soft and they feel really nice. And these were £3. Okay, so I also got the jumper to match that. 
So this was also three pound. It's just a little cropped jumper and it's got the you don't own me down the sleeves. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of cropped anything. So I, I don't know. I, I just wear it with like t-shirts and stuff. So next is a pair of trackies I don't remember buying, but okay. So these have just got stripes at where uh, I'm supposed one of my calves would be. Um, so these were originally eight pound a pair and they're now three pound a pair. So I brought a pair of them. They're super soft as well. So now I got these ones. Oh, these ones with the checkers down the side of the leg. Uh, yeah, so these were normally eight pound and they were cut down to three. Next thing. Next thing is I brought this uh, jump up with a panther embroidered onto it and obviously panthers embroidered across the top. Uh, this was normally 10 pound and I paid five pound. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so next thing I brought is this little, 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 little dress, uh, which I will probably wear as a top <laughs> because it's quite short. It's, it's quite short and it's not strapless, the straps are there. Um, so this is normally £13 and I paid five. Ooh, soft. What are you? Oh, okay. So this is one of the few items I actually paid full price for just because it was too good to pass up. So it's a Hogwarts jumper or sweater, I suppose. Um, but it's got the four house embellishments across around the collar and it's got Hogwarts across the front. I lied, I did not pay full price for this. I paid five pound for this instead of 10. Oh, I fibbed. I thought I paid full price for this, I did not. Uh, but yeah, so I've got a nice Hogwarts jumper. Last couple of things in here. Ooh, socks. Okay, so I've got a pair of Christmas socks. Oh, I thought it was Bell on it. Uh, so this is like the, I think these are called s socks and a hair bear. So I think it's called a sock and a sock or something. But I've got Christmas ones. And then I also brought a little Hogwarts purse, which. You know, I'll just put my coins and that in. If I can ever get it down right. There we go. So, yeah, Hogwarts first. Okay, second bag. Okay, dokie. So, this was actually the first thing I picked up when I walked into the store because I love this colour. It's a nice purple colour. It's a, it's a nice, rich purple colour, nice and bright. It's massive, it's cosy, and I can't wait to snuggle into this. So this is normally a tenner. I don't know if I paid a tenner for it. And it's there. I did not. I paid five pound for this. Oh, look, it's such a itchy nose. Right. So the next thing I saw, and I had to get it just because it's so me, and it's this T-shirt, and it says, uh, I'm sorry, did I just roll my eyes out loud? Um, and as you can probably tell, it's a pound, and I love it. So, yeah, just deal done. I just love it. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was these burgundy tracksuit bottoms. These were three pound instead of eight, and they're so soft and cozy, and I can't wait to wear them. I'm gonna wash. Everything here will be washed before I wear it, just because I have such sensitive skin, I don't really wanna risk it. Also, I don't really want to have red legs um, if I was to wear them without washing. Okay, so the next thing I got, that is uh, wet look trousers. So, I actually already have a pair of these, or th are they wet look or faux? leather or what is whatever they are supposed to be hang on wet look there you go okay so i brought a pair of these a couple of years ago and they started to go a bit funny so i decided to replace them and these were on sale and these were only five pound instead of ten i presume ten these were 13 and i paid five so that's even better 
Uh, the next thing I brought is this bag, and I figured I could use it as a um, makeup bag when I'm traveling. Not that I travel very much. I'm very much a homebody, and I don't like leaving my house. <laughs> um, so this was five pounds. Hence why when I do go shopping, I do it all in one hit. <laughs> Uh, I then got a pack of shoe liners, just like Disney shoe liners, so you got Mickey and a Minnie, and then, nope, okay, Donald, uh, so these are normally £2.50, I picked them up for a pound, I think, I keep losing my receipt, yes, they were a pound, okay, I also picked up some Pusheen what's up, uh, shoe liners, so you got them ones, them ones and them ones again worth 250 cut down to a pound uh i brought some more socks shocker <laughs> um i brought some hufflepuff socks because my harry potter house is hufflepuff half and half <laughs> okay so i brought some face masks while i was in there i got the hollow and glow stone coal sober sheet mask which was cut down from three pound to a pound. I got that one. Uh, I got the Holler and Glow Gem Fest sheet mask, which was three pounds cut down to a pound. And then I got the Dreamy Lips. Ooh, okay, squidgy. So, um, Dreamy Lips stew, stew test. Right, two step lip scrub and mask um k-pop it was one pound fifty it was cut down to 50p figured i'd give it a go this is the jumper that i paid full price for so <laughs> i love it i just love it i can't help but love it it's amazing i think it's so cute the other problem is white and i'm kind of accent prone when it comes to getting things on white things and white clothes um so this was 10 pound and i paid 10 pound for it but definitely worth it in my eyes love it uh what are you a nice color oh look at that more harry potter stuff okay so we've got another jumper here this was originally 14 pounds it was cut down to seven and this is quite a lightweight jumper to be honest i think i can get away with wearing this during the summer because it's so lightweight because if i if i go out without something covering my arms i burn up quite easily so get that. okay so another thing that i brought is this so this is obviously like a harry potter blanket and i know it's in slytherin but they didn't have the, the hufflepuff ones but i really like the green of slytherin um i mean obviously i love all the colors of them but I must admit, I do like the nice deep green that is Slytherin. I really like the purple for Ravenclaw too. See, Ravenclaw is quite funny. Some stuff I see is purple, some other stuff I see is blue. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, just need to check something. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, so I've got the blanket. So this was cut down from six to three, so it's half price. Stay there. Okay, so the next thing I brought is for mine and Mad Max Christmas tree for next year, and it is a Hogwarts bauble. And I'm only just realizing this is actually rather see-through, which is, I think, is quite cool. Um, but I've been after a Harry Potter decoration for our tree for quite a while now, but they've always been so expensive. I mean, these were cut down from a five art to two pound. Two pound, how can you pass that up? And the last thing I got in Poundland is some Harry Potter tea towels. Cut down from five pound to two pound. Which I love so. Oh, just to clarify, that uh, bubble was not two pound, it was a pound. Okay, and the last place we went to is B&M. So, um, as you'll probably know, I'm quite the crafter, so I picked up a few balls of wool. So this is one of the bigger ones. This was a fiver, which to be fair for wool is pretty good. Actually, it's very good. So I picked up a big ball of wool, but then I also picked up some of this soft wool because it's super soft and cuddly. I thought it might be good for making something for a baby. Uh, so 
this was £2.49 per roll and I brought one grey, one white and I think I brought two blue as well but they're a bit later in this bag so uh, I'll just carry on. Okay so I also brought some warm white lights for next year uh, because at the moment we currently have coloured lights on our Christmas tree and I'm kind of sick of them so I'm thinking that either we can just put the warm lights on or we can put the coloured lights and the warm lights on there and it'll break it up a bit so I got them uh, some more wool some luxury wool so this was £1.99 uh, it's just I really like the colour it's like a blue, a dark bluey purpley colour it's coming across more brownish but there's like little bits of colours scattered throughout come on focus focus no okay uh i picked up two rolls of this yep i picked up two rolls uh okay so as you can hear the rustling i picked up some what's it and some flavors and some skips because mad mac needs stuff for lunch um oh look here's the soft blue wool so i brought that as well um you come here so i picked this up for a pound so you got McVit it's a McVitie's selection of mini biscuits. So you got mini cookies, you got ice gems, and you got mini gingerbread men. And then I picked up some Christmas socks. I had issues with socks apparently. I picked up a washing up bowl just because, you know, I need to add all. <laughs> okay, so um Yeah, I picked up hang on, I actually picked up three packs of these. Here we go. So I got ones with Christmas trees on, ones with elves on, which I'm holding the wrong way, and ones with penguins on. So I got plenty of fluffy socks for Christmas. Um, for next year for Mad Max stocking, I also, if I can get my camera to sit right, I also picked up a pack of festive fundies. Festive fundies, and they were reduced from four quid to a pound. How can you go wrong with that? Uh, I also got myself a new Santa hat which was reduced from five pound to a pound. Whoop! Okay, so I don't know something to hunt. Uh, I brought these for any Kitty Winks boxes next year. So instead of paying 150, I paid a pound. Um, picked up some Galaxy Chocolate Orange Brownie mix. So I'm looking forward to make because I love Galaxy and I love chocolate orange and I love brownies. Brownies. Galaxy chocolate. No. <laughs> Sometimes packages are just so obvious. It's like, really? Did you really have to state that? Uh, and then I just picked up some pot noodles just to eat. Pardon me. Uh, well, obviously, what else are you going to do with pot noodle? Duh. Um, but that was everything from BM. I didn't get as much in BM as I thought I did. Wobbly. Okay, so the last two things I'm going to talk about is what I've ordered online from two other websites. So I ordered from Beauty Bay, because um, they had a pretty good sale on it as well. So I ordered the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, Wet n Wild Colour Icon Bronzer, Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte. Uh, I got them in three colours. So Wet n Wild Mega Glow Liquid Highlighter and the Photo Focus Foundation. Uh, as I live in the UK, it's kind of difficult to get hold of Wet n Wild without stupid shipping costs. Uh, but with Beauty Bay, it was reduced and the shipping was free. So uh, I was able to get that. So then I also ordered some bits from e.l.f. So from e.l.f. I got a lip lacquer, an eyebrow lifter and filler, a highlighter set a matte lip colour set, a flawless finish foundation, velvet matte lipstick, mad for matte eyeshadow palette, contour palette and a small stipple brush which was actually free because I registered an account with them so I got 50 elf points or whatever it is. Um, so I got the little stippling brush for free. Um, So hopefully they should be coming in the next few days so I can 
show you what I got um, when they come in. And I'll show you if they're broken or anything like that. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, none of it will come broken. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. If you enjoy me and my content, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. I really should start wearing a Santa hat now, shouldn't I? If you have any video suggestion ideas for me, leave them in the comments down below and I'll see you all for the screen. Bye guys. Okay, I hope you guys had a amazing Christmas, an awesome Boxing Day, and I hope you guys have an awesome new year. This is my last video of 2018, so I'll see you all in 2019. Bye.